So what is a WhatsApp business API? Now there are three things. There's a WhatsApp app. There's a WhatsApp business app. The third thing is the WhatsApp business API. Now we must be wondering why WhatsApp actually owns the API when we have two products around WhatsApp. So the problem with WhatsApp apps and WhatsApp business app is you cannot send broadcast messages to more than 250 people that you basically uh, make groups of 250 people, then you send them a broadcast message. And if you're sending a broadcast message, also, if the end user hasn't saved your number, they won't be receiving your message. That is also one of the problems. And most of the user doesn't basically will be saving the numbers of all the businesses they are catering to, right? This is the problem. The next thing is you cannot automate the customer support system. So there is a just one predefined message that you can implement in WhatsApp business app, but entire customer support, you cannot automate that. You cannot install chatbots. Moreover, if you are having a huge traffic on your WhatsApp or on your website, and you are getting n number of queries day and night, and you have n number of agents that caters to do those queries. If you are having a WhatsApp business app, you can uh, access the app through one device only. Means not all the agents can sit uh, parallelly in, in the same dashboard and can cater the queries according to different uh, domains or different use cases, right? To cater all these problems, WhatsApp launched this WhatsApp Business API. This allows you to send broadcast campaign to thousands of users with a single click. And those users who haven't saved your number will also receive the message. Moreover, the links that you will be sending will also be clickable, which is not the same in case of WhatsApp Business apps, right? You can install chatbots. You can have multiple human gene support. And the most important thing is you also get a verified green tick which shows you the branded presence of your company on WhatsApp. So like you must have seen the green tick with uh, Oyo and you know, go IBO uh, business accounts, make my trade business accounts, book my show business accounts. So you also get this green tick with WhatsApp business API, but there's a cast to it. There's a separate application of a green tick. It's not like that you apply for the API, you get the API for your business and simultaneously you get the green tick. So we have to apply for the API first and then we have to apply for the green tick. Now, what is basically the procedure of applying for the WhatsApp Business API? So the very first thing is WhatsApp, WhatsApp uh, gives the WhatsApp Business uh, API to only registered businesses, verified businesses. So how WhatsApp actually, you know, uh, uh, gets to know that this business is verified or not. It is by the Facebook Business Manager ID verification. So what we need to do, we first need to apply for the uh, we first need to verify your Facebook business manager ID, right? So there is a very simple process to it. If your ID is already verified, we can go ahead with the API procurement. If your ID isn't verified yet, we'll help you in getting that verified and take you through the process as well, or you can get your ID verified. Next is we'll be requiring a new mobile number from your end on which we'll procure the API. Now there's a thing like, we know that once a number is registered on in WhatsApp app, the same number cannot be registered on WhatsApp business app simultaneously, right? Similarly, if you have WhatsApp business API on a particular number, on that number, you cannot install any of the WhatsApp apps. So that number will coldly be for the WhatsApp business API. So now you must be wondering if I don't have a, uh, uh, you know, if I don't have an app for where I will see all the charts that will be coming on the number. So for that, the ASNC platform is built. You can monitor the charts. You can see the charts. You can cater your customer queries through ASNC platform. So all the charts, all the users that will be putting their queries on that number will be coming to the ASNC platform, which will be, which you will be getting the login access. So we'll be requiring a new mobile number from your end to get the API. If you want the API to be procured an old mobile number as well, that can also be done, but the condition is from that old mobile number, you should delete your WhatsApp account. Not delete, not just delete the app, you need to delete the account. Only then we can apply for the API. Right? Also, there's one more thing. Like if a number is upgraded to a WhatsApp business API number, that particular number cannot be downgraded. So if it's upgraded, it's upgraded. You cannot say that, uh, you know, I want my WhatsApp uh, account back on this number, that won't be possible. That's why we recommend to go with a new mobile number. Right, so here's a link 
as you can see business.facebook.com setting security here you can go you can get your facebook business manager id verified i'll take you through the processes once it's gets verified you have to go to this link asnc.com apply for whatsapp business api and you can apply for the api we'll give do we'll give all these links to you once the session is over we'll send this entire presentation all the entire strategies that you will be getting all the all the basically the the bundle that we promised 20 uh, verified uh, ex approved template messages eight chatbot templates and all these things the whatsapp business api as well so you will get all these things